what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's Shanice so as you can see my hair is looking a little bit different and yes I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this style right here featuring as I am products and I do want to let you guys know that we are hosting a giveaway there are gonna be two lucky winners and it's gonna be hosted on Instagram so definitely check how you can win that below we are giving away a lot of products so yeah you want to be looking out for that yeah that's pretty much all I want to say so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in my next one so the products that I'll be using to achieve this style are the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash, which I use to co-wash my hair, and it has a lot of slip and it's super moisturizing, so I love this stuff. I'll also be using the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner for added slip and moisture and to make it easier to detangle my hair. So for the holding product, I'll be using the As I Am Soothing Smoothing Gel, and I love this stuff. It's going to give me that nice hold for the curls. And lastly, I'm going to be using the As I Am Coco Shea Spray, and I'm just going to lightly spray this all over my hair for more shine. And of course, we need flexi rods to actually mold the hair. So depending on the length of your hair, it would depend on what size you use. Alright, so this is my hair freshly washed. As you can see, it kind of dried up, but that's because I had to set up and everything, so my hair just ended up getting dry. So I'm going to start off with the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just going to put that on both sides of my hair, just working it in to make it easier to detangle my hair. And I'm just going to spray a little bit of water as well, just to activate the product. So this is my crazy part. I really just didn't want a uniform part because that's how my hair will set and I didn't want that. So I'm just going to divide my hair into one inch or one and a half inch sections and that's what I'm going to be working with with the flexi rod. So I'm going to make sure that my hair is fully detangled and then I'm going to apply some of the smoothing gel. I'm just going to apply a very little bit. I didn't want my hair to be drenched in product and then it would take even longer to dry and plus a little bit goes a long way. And then I'm just going to apply the flexi rod. And don't worry, I'm going to go a little bit slower motion if you didn't catch that. Alright, so again, I'm just going to detangle my hair, make sure that it's nice and smooth. Apply a little bit of the smoothing gel and just work that into my hair. And then I'm going to apply the flexi rod and I'm sort of just twisting my hair around the flexi rod to create and form the curl. And then I'm just going to close the end of the flexi rod, just sort of like folding them over or twisting them over. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can see what I'm saying. And that's actually what's going to keep the flexi rod in place. And I'm just going to do the same steps all over my entire head using one to one and a half inch sections. And if I had to spray a little bit more water, I'm going to do that just because my ends are kind of dry. So we really want the ends to look nice and smooth and curly when it dries. Okay, so once I'm done my entire head, I'm just going to use the As I Am Coco Shea Spray to spray all over my hair for some added shine. And then I'm going to apply my huge satin bonnet, which I got from Bon Bon Chavot. We'll link it down below. And I'm going to sleep on it overnight. You can definitely go under the dryer, but I really want to do a no heat type of style. Honestly, it was kind of a struggle sleeping, but I got through it, guys. Alright, so this is the next day. As you can see, makeup on fleek. But I'm joking. I had about 35 of these flexi rods in. And now I'm just going to gently unravel the flexi rods. Pretty much just twisting it the opposite way. And just doing it very gently so it can create less frizz. And it was honestly such a relief to take these down. So this is my hair after taking down all the flexi rods. It's super shiny, but as you can see, it's very flat and very short. So we're going to do something about that. The next step is to take each curl and separate them. So I'm just taking one curl and separating them into two to three to four curls. And that's just going to give me more volume and just make my hair a lot bigger and even more defined. As you can see, this is a comparison shot. One side versus the other side. One side is a lot bigger than the other side. 
But yeah, we're just going to continue separating until you get your desired look. Well, until I get my desired look. So this is what it looks like once all the curls are separated and as you can see the curls are popping but yeah I'm gonna show you guys two styles that I would rock with these curls so the first style is this pineapple curl style I don't know what I was calling it but yeah just have a high ponytail with some curls hanging down which I thought was super cute so pretty much I'm just going to tie my hair up into a high ponytail and I'm going to leave some curls down in the front and then we're just going to work with those curls after to, you know, make it your own. So I'm just going to play with the curls until I like it and I'm just going to rock it out. Oh yeah, I'm also going to pull out some curls on the side because I thought that was cute. So style number two I call curly bangs. Honestly guys, don't knock me for this. I just thought of anything that came to my mind. So first things first, I gotta pick out my hair because I love volume. So I'm just using a wide tooth comb to um, just lift up the roots of my hair to give me more volume. And then I'm gonna take the very front portion of my hair and tie that into a ponytail. And then I'm just going to play with it until I cover up the band and just rework it so I get the look that I want. And then I'm just going to blend my ponytail hair with the rest of my hair and I'm good to go. This is definitely the style that I would personally rock. So that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to enter into this giveaway. Love you guys. <clears throat> Should I wait till the stadium is like full to capacity and get down on one knee right on the 50 yard line? Right in the middle. Yeah, I love that. No, you. <laughs> you would so, not embarrass yourself. You feel so embarrassed.